Drone strikes kill militants in Yemen, Americans urge to leave. So we see this, this is a situation where if you're just in an area, you just have to get out. You can't go outside your house. You can't go to a foreign country. You can't go visit your friends and family or go do journalistic reporting because drone strikes are going on everywhere and you just need to get out of the area. None of those killed on Tuesday were among the 25 names on the country's most wanted list, security officials say. So people being hit by drone strikes, even though none of the people hit, were on the top 25. And you can see a map right there on your screen. And out of 74 drone strikes, the range is about between 600 and I guess around 900 total people killed. And the militants killed is estimated at best to be about 777. So you can do the math for yourself. So these are not as surgically accurate as they would like you to believe. So people are getting tired of this. You see the polls and the figures and everything and everybody saying we're tired of the U.S. meddling in foreign affairs. And so many people got tired of this. They got together and right here in the city of Austin, Texas, as well as around the whole United States, people got together on their bridges and freeways and said, no, we want the U.S. out of foreign affairs. I'm Gigi Arnetta reporting for Infowars.com and Infowars Nightly News. And we're standing here on an overpass at Maynard Drive in Austin, Texas, where people are honking for Obama's impeachment. So what gave you guys this idea? This is a national movement. Um, it was started by James Neighbors, who's up in Oklahoma. We now have, uh, we've got groups like this in all 50 states. And yeah, we're just out here trying to wear, raise people's awareness a little bit and get them uh, woken up to what's going on with the Obama administration and try, try to get him out of office. So you believe that these are definitely not phony scandals? Definitely not. They're, they're felonies, you know? And, and we elect these folks to govern us, but not to rule us. And we have a constitution to limit the federal government's power, and they're just shredding the constitution daily. I want to know how many people are out there that would like to be doing something. They get frustrated. They say, well, I'm going to do something tomorrow, and I'm going to do something today, something that's going to count. You know, you got to get out of the, from behind the computer and go out and try to get some things done. We're, we're in a neighborhood where people actually told us, that, oh, no, you don't want to go out there. You know, there, there are too many people for Obama out there, but we're, <laughs> but we're getting a great response, and, and we're going to stay out here as long as we can. I'm going to be out here every chance I get. I took off work for this today. I mean, I'd take off work if I was sick or if I had a sick child. The Republic's sick. It needs help. That's what I'm here for. One group near Los Angeles has 1,780 people. 1,780 people. That's incredible. One group. And if you go to overpasses.org, you can find out more information about the event they're having August 17th. Get out and help. Help change what's happening to our Constitution. I'm Gigi Arnetta reporting for Infowars.com and Infowars Nightly News. <laughs> Hello, this is Hank Hill, and I'm telling you what, you need to listen to Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Infoworth.com. <Yeah. clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Judge, what is the secret of the universe? <laughs> Infoworth.com. <Yeah. clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat>